Robbie Drosslin, and I did my senior projects on fossil fuels and outdated energy. I'd like to start with my thesis. Uh, the burning and use of fossil fuels or the use of renewable energy has devastating effects on the environment. Uh, a quote that would help support this from National Geographic would be that with rapid climate change, 25% of Earth's species will be heading for extinction by 2050. This is only 34 years away. Uh, this is due to global warming, and global warming is caused by the gases that are emitted into our atmosphere. Burning fossil fuels causes these gases to overaccumulate in the atmosphere. Uh, one of the big fossil fuels that America in particular uses is coal. Uh, coal plants are the nation's number one source of carbon dioxide emissions and the primary source of global warming. Uh, each coal plant generates 3.5 million tons of CO2 per year. Uh, another bad thing with coal is that when it is burned, it emits mercury. Mercury is collected um, in clouds of water vapor, and when it rains back down, it goes into our streams and rivers and into marine life and fish. And that exact amount of fish is what we eat, but we are actually indirectly poisoning ourselves when we're burning coal. Uh, burning coal is also a leading cause of smog, acid rain, and toxic air pollution. Oil and natural gas, another uh, fossil fuel. Um, oil also releases carbon dioxide into the air while being combusted. Oil causes particulate pollution, and that damages the lungs and respiratory systems of air-breathing organisms on the planet. Um, a bad thing about natural gas is that it doesn't produce as much CO2 as oil. It produces much more methane when it's burned. And although methane doesn't have that particular pollution as oil, it's actually healthier for us to breathe in when it's being burned. But it actually conducts 20 times more heat than CO2. So it's actually, when they say in the advertisement, switch to natural gas for cleaner energy, it's actually accelerating global warming 20 times faster. Um, from that, we can look at renewable energy, which would be the nice alternative. Uh, there are many different times of, uh, types of renewable energy. This includes hydropower, wind power, solar power, geothermal, and biomass. Uh, there are many pros and cons to each one of these powers. Uh, hydropower is nice in the fact that um, there's always going to be a constant flow of water, but we're limited to the amount of sources in which we can harvest that power because we ourselves can't generate new rivers. Uh, wind power, there's always constant wind. There's going to be wind blowing all the time as long as you have a turbine that's uh, falling off up in the air, but it kills migratory birds and it also disrupts whales' migratory patterns if the wind turbines are on the coastline. Uh, solar power uh, has very harmful acids in its battery, but it actually would be the best and cleanest power because it doesn't kill any organisms in its process. It collects photons from uh, the sunlight, and when those batteries go bad, as long as they are disposed of properly, there will be no uh, damage done. Uh, I did my community connection. Um, it was a job shadow. And I went with Brent Soule, who is an Eversource project engineer. Eversource is the company that supplies all of us with our power that we need. Um, what I did is I went up to Cannon, Vermont, which is only five miles outside the border of Canada, and also Royal, New Hampshire. And I watched as they repaired some of the hydro dams that are there. Um, on your top left, that's them raising the uh, water gate. That's what traps kind of the water and pumps it into the turbines. Uh, as you shift over to the right, you can see those are the wooden dams in Gorham. Um, those were all rotted and they were had a dam that they built right in front of it so they could fix the main dam. And my project. I did my senior project. I built a woodshed and I did that in, in order to promote further use of burning biofuels over fossil fuels. Uh, when you burn wood, there's actually a neutral carbon effect, in which case if a tree was to fall over in the woods or just rot over time due to disease, it's going to produce the same amount of CO2 as if you were to just burn it and harvest its heat and energy. So it's actually better that way because you're not putting an over excess amount of CO2 into the atmosphere as you are when you burn um, fossil fuels. So this is kind of the beginning of the woodshed here. You can see I'm starting to lay out the foundation. I had to dig the holes. Um, that's more of the foundation there. 
on the on your left hand side, those are the floor joists, and then as you go over, you can start to see them added sheathing. Uh, some of the complications with this project would be that I didn't have any electricity, so I had to put all of this together with a hammer and a nail or with a shovel. Um, the reason for that is because I didn't have any outlets close enough. I would have had to run like a mile of extension cords, and a generator would have been able to um, wouldn't have wouldn't have had enough power to operate a air compressor to power like a nail gun. So uh, that was my only option. It was a bit of, bit of a struggle, but. I've figured it out. Um, from the left side over to the right, you can see I've started to put up walls. Uh, center there, you can see I've started the two gable and rafters. Um, this is more just the, the roof with uh, rafters and collar ties, more sheathing. And that's the final project. Um, all of it together was used out of recycled materials. What I mean by that is in 2008, when we had our big ice storm, it blew over many, many trees. Um, so all of our, my grandparents' land where I built the shed, uh, they took those trees that fell over and instead of letting them rot, they had a company come in and turn them into boards. So we reused all those boards and turned them into a wood shed. And I would like to personally thank Mrs. Barnia uh, for keeping me on track along with Mrs. Gilbert. Uh, Mike Jossum, my grandfather, with giving me a few pointers here and there whenever I'd screw up. And uh, also Brent Soul, who was my community connection uh, project engineer who I job checked. Thank you. Are there any questions for Ronnie? Okay. Oh, oh, yep. When analyzing um, the different types of energy sources that yeah. you discussed at the beginning, yep. was there any information that was surprising as to maybe your initial uh, I would say more in particular, definitely natural gas, because I've seen how like they want to do that pipeline project and bring in natural gas and all that kind of stuff, and I thought that was great, and I thought it would be definitely our future. But now seeing how they've kind of the way they put in like the ads and the commercials that it's cleaner for us and for life, but it really is just going to ruin the environment and continue to cause uh, the extinction of so many species due to global warming. So I think that was the biggest surprising factor that I found through my research. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, Rob. Nice job.